Hi everyone, this is a overview of Moodle um, for students in Spring 2020's ERL 590 Writing and the Teaching of Writing. I'll try to keep this relatively short, so even if you know Moodle already, it might be worth uh, just a quick uh, tour of the platform we'll be using for this course. So um, here it is, what you see uh, should be something like uh, what's on my screen right now. Um, and let me just run through uh, how I use Moodle. This uh, general section here won't change too much unless I really want to draw your attention to something new. Maybe I'm clarifying something in an assignment. Maybe there's some big quick thing. I may put up a new link or two here. Definitely the syllabus and maybe a few others. The news forum is a place where I will post announcements there's nothing in there right now, but it could be a quick uh, change of date. It could be um, just something worth looking at. Maybe there's something coming up on public radio that might be worth looking at. Anything like that. Uh, you should be getting um, anything I post here as a link in your email as well. That's the email you used with Moodle. Uh, so if you're not, let me know and we'll try to fix that. The questions forum is for your use. If you have a question about anything from, uh, who knows, the syllabus or an assignment or something like that, just go ahead and click Questions, click Add a New Discussion Topic, add in your title, uh, it could be as simple as my question, write your question, and then post to forum. Um, I will get that and I will respond really quickly. I'm pretty good about these, or I try to be at least. Um, I will be on the course every single day and probably several times throughout the day. So if you post a question, chances are real good, I will get to it that day. Uh, that said, if your question is urgent, if you're shut down and you can't do anything without getting this resolved, you might want to give me a call or send me a direct email just so I can make sure that I can uh, respond quicker. When you first explore Moodle and you go to the questions forum, if you don't see these little icons here, or whoops, or all these, um, then you may be using a browser that is incompatible with Moodle. I use Chrome or Safari, and uh, you should be able to see these. These are kind of basic formatting things, so that when you post something in Moodle, um, you can make it bold, you can do other kinds of things. Okay, so please uh, make sure that you do see this. Um, one thing um, that would be helpful for you is, um, you know, just to, to kind of go through this and to be able, if you hold your cursor over each one, it'll tell you just what it does. So explore this a little bit. Moodle can be tricky if you cut and paste things into it. So um, if you cut and paste things in, just make sure you don't have a lot of extra formatting and it should generally be pretty good. We'll go back. This is the breadcrumb trail up here, and it kind of shows you wherever you are in the course how to get to other places. So um, I'm in the questions form. If I want to just get back to general, I can click right here. If I want to get to the whole course, I just click right here, and it takes me back. It's much easier than going back and forth. You'll see each topic um, topics open on officially on Monday, but generally they open on Sunday night. Um, I think there's about 15, one per week in this course, and we'll run through that in a little bit. Over here is our, our participants in this course. Um, if you click that link, you'll see that currently there are three of us, um, Lucas and Tracy, and there will be many, many more, hopefully very soon. If you click on anyone's name, you will see their bio that they posted, hopefully, and uh, just a little bit about them. Um, please take the time to read and see who's in this class. You may discover someone uh, who, you know, you might have had an another class with, and just someone who might be sharing the same age students or similar experiences, and that can be really, really helpful. Um, if you go back to the course again, you'll see that right here, people, here's another link to participants. And you will see a little link for messages. New messages will either show up here, oh, right here. Um, so if you have any messages waiting for you, 
then you'll see a little message icon and we'll get to that a little bit later. Mine's showing up a little weird just because things are new. So I've accidentally, as you can see, gone uh, too far back and that'll happen to you plenty of times. So if it does, just find your course and there you go. Um, if you're taking part in a forum, um, I kind of went over that. One thing I really want to express is that it's really helpful to read everything in a forum before you start posting so you get really good ideas of what, what's going on. And really simple, when you, when you post to a forum, click add a new discussion topic, and there you go. You can attach things, and generally the size is about a gigabyte. Um, but generally, if you're making a post, like the week one opening um, post I ask you to write, please don't attach it as a, um, a file. Please post it in the message box with uh, paragraphs and the whole thing. Um, you'll find it easy to use a program like TextEdit or Notepad. If you're writing in Word or Pages, copy and paste it into Notepad or uh, text edit, make it plain text, and then um, paste it in here. Please don't upload pages files because that is a Apple only product and it's really hard to read or possible to read for people with PCs. Uh, I think that's kind of the rough um, go on Moodle. Um, kind of if you have any questions, if links don't work, anything else, um, please let me know. Otherwise, just explore around. One thing I'll point out, uh, the blog menu. If you are making a blog entry, and we probably will in either week one or week two, um, to make a post that we can see, click add an entry about this course. You're not actually writing about the course, but it's just its way of doing it. Then go ahead and post it in here. And then when we go back to... Um, we go back to, to that, we'll see the entries that have been made by people in the course. I hope Modal works well for you. There are very few glitches uh, that happen, so hopefully things will be smooth. Um, last thing is uh, when you click your name up here, you'll see things from your preferences to edit your profile. That's the way to edit your profile. The calendar, any messages, um, forum posts you've made and you'll be able to access grades and the grades can be a little weird to see in here so i will uh, do a separate video on that a little later on all right i hope that was helpful i hope i didn't confuse you and uh, any questions please fire away